Hello there everybody, it's your boy Jaren from Backhacks.com Please do check out my website and this video is about the top 5 best camera phones available in the market right now The benchmarks that I'm mirroring these phones on is Pixel size, number of megapixels, sensor size, the size of phone, low light photography, image quality Just to name a few Please remember that pixel size matters a lot Instead of having more number of pixels, having a larger pixel size will provide a good quality of image as larger pixel can ca uh, catch much wide variety of colors and provide a detailed image and let's hop into the video real quick on number five we have Geoni eLife e7 it has the rear camera of 16 megapixel with pixel size of 1.34 it has margin m8 lens and its sensor size is 1 by 2.3 inches it also has a sapphire glass on the camera which protects uh, the camera lens from getting scratches uh, and it has a front camera of 8 megapixel with pixel size of 1.4 it is actually the same camera that you get on the rear of the iPhone 5s the camera UI is just amazing and I'm totally in love with it I also use the same phone and it has two modes one is professional mode and another is simple mode for those who don't want to get into the settings and don't want to mess around with the settings on number four we have nokia lumia 1520 it has uh, the main camera sensor is of 20 megapixels and it has nokia's pure view technology which as usual gives amazing amazing photographs and the photo quality in low light is ama also amazing it has a wide array of options which gives you user a full control over camera features and functionality it has dual led flash for uh, shooting in night we have Samsung Galaxy K or also known as Samsung Galaxy S5 Zoom. It is quite a bulky phone. Instead of buying such a heavy phone, I would rather prefer to buy a DSLR camera. But still, in terms of image quality, this phone is quite amazing. It has 20.7 megapixel of rear facing camera with a resolution of 5248 into 3936 pixels. It has both auto and manual focus. It has 10x of optical zoom which can be used to click far objects and it has both Xeon and LED flash. Its sensor size is 1 by 2.3 inches and it has another feature such as HDR, panorama, smile detection etc. Uh, the cam, it also acts as camcorder and it can record at 1080p's at 60 frames per second. On number 2 we have HTC M8 it runs on a Snapdragon 801 chipset it has dual sensor of cam rear camera of 4 megapixel it uses ultra pixel rear facing camera and 5 megapixel of front camera and it uses duo camera technology which is used to refocus image after clicking it so you don't have to worry about focusing on object uh, when clicking them instead you can do it later on which is quite an amazing feature and I love this feature its pixel size is slightly larger than Juni Life E7 its pixel sizes are around 2 and its sensor size is 1 by 3 inches this phone has amazing amazing low light for photography and it has dual LED flash and uh, you can have fun around with the camera features it has a wide wide variety of camera features and UI is also amazing and the start of the show on number one we have Sony Xperia Z2 it has 20.7 megapixel of rear camera its sensor size is 30% larger than the standard smartphones uh, it is a compact digital camera and it results in a super sharp and super crisp images it can record videos in 4K at 120 frames per second which is quite astonishing. It has an XMOR RS image stabilizer which increases sensitivity and decreases noise to ensure smooth and great reproduction of images. It has amazing low quality uh, uh, low light images and the image quality when you see it is quite astonishing. You don't literally need a DSLR camera if you have this phone it, the image production is amazing amazing 
like and subscribe to my channel and do favorite my videos as it would help me a lot and please do visit my website it's whackhacks.com later